Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, um, and once again, this is going to be a pretty late video, for me at least, it's like about at 6.30 here, in, in the evening, um, but yeah, my schedule's been a little weird, so hopefully tomorrow on Saturday's videos will be a little, a little, um, sooner, earlier, um, and just a COVID update, um, I'm out of COVID, I've been out of self-isolation for since Monday actually actually you know, actually technically Saturday Monday went back to school um and just an update uh, I'm not sure how bad it is where you are you don't have to tell me I don't probably don't, don't really want to know but um there's 38 cases in Drumheller which Drumheller is where I live which is more than there was last time which was like in the summer there was two and one of them wasn't even from Drumheller but yeah, there's 38 now. Anyway, it's Disney Week, and I thought I would hit you guys with another great debate video. And that is DreamWorks or Disney, which is better. Now, this is not a comparison or opinion video. It's an opinion video. And technically, it's not really the great debate because I don't have someone debating with me on which one. Opposite my um, opinion. It's mostly just... Um, I list the facts, I list my opinion, you list your opinion down below in the comments. Um, but I will be doing a comparison and opinion for DreamWorks and Disney in the future. Actually, probably next week. So, let's start with Disney. Now, Disney, this is different because Disney isn't like DreamWorks. Disney does live action and animation. And there's that Mary Poppins, and I think, who framed Roger Rabbit. Please let me know if that is not Disney. Where, um... It's live action and animation. Oh, that's Space Jam is that too, but that's Warner Brothers. But well, DreamWorks is just animation, but DreamWorks is Disney's biggest rival for animation. There's also a difference. Um, and I'm moving stuff around. Disney has been around since like the 20s, since Disney came back from World War One. Um, but his first movie was released in 1937, and that was Snow White. DreamWorks' first movie, Ants, came out in 1998, 61 years later. And like I said, DreamWorks does just animation and Disney doesn't. Disney's also bought out Marvel and Star Wars. DreamWorks was bought by a company as a, um, come back for it as a way to kind of make an attack on Disney, but also Disney releases about five movies a year, DreamWorks releases one. The movie they're releasing, well, they, well, they released Trolls, that new age, that no, Trolls thing in the beginning of the year. So I guess maybe they do two, one at the beginning, one at the end. Oh, well, they didn't, no, 2019, they just did How to Train Dragon 3. Um, and uh, actually in... Six days, Crude's New Age comes out. Also, people that have worked for Disney have worked for DreamWorks. Dean DeBlow and Chris Sanders, who, um, if you're a hard change fan like me, were the directors for the first movie, and I think, well, Dean DeBlow second and third, um, worked on Lilo and Stitch. So, there's some stuff for them. So now, this isn't, I mean, I grew up watching Disney videos, but I also grew up watching DreamWorks videos. And DreamWorks is more known for its franchises, like, I almost said the word, that's not okay. Madagascar, How to Train Your Dragon, my, my personal favorite, um, Shrek, Kung Fu Panda, that's it. And Disney, they do have some franchises. Toy Story, technically Frozen, um, Cars. They're good franchises, but they're not. DreamWorks has more franchises. Disney, yeah. So, um, and this is going to be about a five-minute video. But if I had to pick Disney or DreamWorks, I would pick Disney. Just because Disney, like I said, um... 
when I, like I said yesterday, when I was doing my top 10 video, very, very, very hard to choose. Try my top 10 DreamWorks. Also hard, but it's been a week since I've done top 10, I can still tell you my top 10 DreamWorks movies. Turbo, The Croods, uh, Spirit Sonia, Simon, Penguins of Madagascar, Joseph, King of Dreams, Prince of Egypt, Rise of the Guardians, How to Train Your Dragon, How to Train Your Dragon 3, How to Train Your Dragon 2. There, um, Disney, like I said, there's a lot to choose from, and technically Disney, you kind of have to do four lists. Animation, live action, Star Wars, and Marvel, which I'd only be doing two lists, but, yes. So, if I had to choose which one I liked, if I had to choose which one, I, I might, you might think, okay, she's a DreamWorks girl because she likes How to Train Your Dragon. No, I like Disney better than DreamWorks, but DreamWorks has better franchises and sometimes better movies. I'm sorry, Disney. The best you could do for dragons was Pete, was Elliot, was Pete, uh, Elliot's, dra Pete's dragon. Yeah. And those are what I call boring dragons. They just breathe fire, and that's it. So, anyway, thank you for watching. Um, like I said, um, the end of this great debate video, my opinion, Disney is they're both good, but if I had to pick which movie I had to prefer, I would say Dream Disney. But if we're going for better franchises, then I would say DreamWorks. So, like, as always, let me know in the comments down below if you agree with my opinion or if you don't. You have the right to disagree. And be sure to give this video a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And stay tuned for tomorrow. Tomorrow's video is about animation and live action. Alright. See you.